with another video. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am going to be setting up my Foxy Fix A6 rings for Christmas using all of these goodies here. So if you want to see me set up my planner, just keep on watching. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with a little intro, then I'm gonna be sharing the goodies that I have sitting here, and then we'll jump into a voiceover for the whole setting up portion. I will leave timestamps down below in case you don't wanna hear the intro or if you don't wanna see all the goodies sitting here. So first things first, um, this is like the first year that I've been in a rings. I've started A6 rings since May. So I've been having fun just setting up different planners for the holidays or yeah, for the holidays pretty much. So I had my initial setup, I do have that filmed. And then of course I have my Halloween setup here that I also have filmed. And now we're moving into Christmas. After Christmas, I'll probably just jump back into my original theme that I had set up. Um, because I really liked how it was set up and everything like that, so I don't wanna change it. If I do, then I will film another video, but right now we're gonna be setting up for Christmas. Once it hits November 1st, I will be fully jumping into my Christmas planner, but until then, I still have this. Um, if you watched my last planner setup, I'm going to be doing it the same way where I'll just be going piece by piece and then just replacing it with something Christmas themed instead because I really do like how everything is currently set up and I don't want to change it around. So I'll just be literally taking like my cover page, redoing it for Christmas, putting it into the new planner. Um, I will be moving all of my inserts in for this video, but after that I will be moving everything back into my Halloween setup since it's still pretty early on and focus so that is my little intro portion let's get into all of the goodies that i have sitting here Okay, so jumping into the goodies, I have my planner sitting here. This is a Foxy Fix E6 rings in sugar coconut, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's a sugar coconut, but this is the one that I was using um, from the beginning, and then I did a switch to this black one for Halloween. I could use this one for Christmas because the kit that I'm using or the theme that I'm going with for this year does have some black in it but I don't know I just wanted something a little bit softer so I will be switching everything into here for Christmas I do have this year because I'm gonna be switching out the elements as for the theme for Christmas time I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time to like sit down and really go through and kind of make a unique Christmas setup because the last quarter of the year is just pretty hectic as far as like being a shop owner goes and just life in general with the holidays coming up so I made it easy on myself and I picked up this collection from Simple Stories it's called the Say Cheese Christmas and it's just a Christmas theme or a Disney Christmas theme and I thought it would just make it super easy to set up my planner i love the colors i love the black with this and i just loved everything about it so i just picked up the simple kit i got this from scrapbook.com i will leave a link down below so this is the papers that i have chosen i've already pre-cut them so this video will go by a little bit quicker so i have just a bunch of elements here from the kit that I just showed you that I'm going to pull into my planner somehow. We'll see how it goes. So those are the papers there. I also like acetate and vellum in my planner. I couldn't find, well, when I went to purchase uh, Christmas vellum and acetate everything was already all sold out on scrapbook.com and my craft store didn't have any so I just have this one from a previous year it is a piece of acetate and gold foil and it just has a bunch of like Christmas sayings so I have that one and that is the only acetate I have besides like this little negative pixie um, negative foiled card that I sold in the shop so I have that this is going to be a mixed metals setup because I just couldn't find enough of the same either gold or silver foil um, so yeah I also just quickly printed off some of this vellum in the magical Mickey Christmas print I have one in gold foil and then one in like this pixie well it's not really pixie hollow but it's a very glitterly glitterly glittery red foil I have some of these cards here these are oopsies that I just kept for myself that I hope to bring in so it's very like all of the same patterns but I literally couldn't find anything else so that is that um let's see what else do I have here I have a whole bunch of die cuts that I found in my stash um from her name is savvy these are from so much joy co I have this one from once more with love 
and yeah those are those die cuts i don't know how i'm gonna pull them into the spread yet but or the setup but i will be i don't know where this one is from if you recognize it you can leave a comment down below but i don't remember where this one is from i have this card um just this mickey mouse card that i'm going to tuck into the front I have these Simply Gilded bows that I'm going to be using as dividers just like I have in my previous setups because I really do like that. I have these bow vinyls from, well, that I did sell in the shop. I also have this gemstone in gold. Like I said, this is going to be like a mixed metals setup because I couldn't find enough of the same. Either gold, bless you. Um, gold or silver. This one's from Hobby Lobby. I got it a while ago so hopefully I can actually peel this one up because last time it was so old that I couldn't peel it up. I have these glitter edgers. Glitter edgers? I think that's what they're called from the Planner Society. I have them just in white to bring into the setup somehow. Um, I have a bunch of Target Dollar Spot adhesive pockets here and what else? I have my dividers. Where did they go? I've already pre-cut my dividers like I did last time. Um, you'll see in the setup how I'm going to be using these, but if you saw my Halloween setup, then you'll know how I'll be using those. But if not, um, you'll see that in the setup. And then I just have some glitter. This one is from Target. I really wanted gold glitter, but I haven't been to Target or I haven't found the gold one of this, but I do like using this glitter from Target for my dividers and like my page lifters in the front or my dashboard so I'll be using this and then I just have some charms here so I only have one dangle to use for the spread I do want to make some more or buy some more but I have this one and I just have a few paper clips these are all ones that I made myself that I will bring into my spread somehow but that is all the goodies. The only other thing is my laminator or my foiler that I use as a laminator that is tucked underneath my desk. And that is about it for the goodies. Now we're going to jump into actually setting it up, taking page by page out of my current setup, redoing it for Christmas and putting it into here. I'm going to switch to a voiceover for this part because it's just a whole lot easier. And I can speed up the video so it's not like a million years long. And then we'll jump back into live so I can do a final flip through before moving back into my Halloween setup. So let's get to setting up my Christmas planner. Okay, so jumping into the voiceover, I have just turned on my foiler, which I use as a laminator to work on my very first like dashboard or cover page. I am making a glittery dashboard just like I did for my Halloween planner. So this is the glitter that I have from Target and I'm using a lamination sheet. I got the lamination sheet from Amazon. I will leave the one that I use linked down below. I think it's pretty good. Um, the Amazon link is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase something off of there, I will get a kickback. This glitter was so messy this is the messiest glitter that I have used out of the ones from Target like it just got everywhere so I do spread it out as much as possible because I do want to use or make two dashboards out of this one sheet I'm putting a piece of chipboard behind the lamination sheet before I run it through the foiler I find that it comes out more crystal clear if I don't do that then it comes out cloudy looking I don't know what it is that makes it better but it does so that's what I do I'm just trimming off the portions that don't have a lot of glitter in it so when I go to measure I get the most glitter on the dashboard measuring out so that I can get two of them out of this one sheet which is what I normally try to do going in with my corner rounder this is also linked in my Amazon storefront it works really well on paper and inserts on the lamination sheet it doesn't work as well or mine is just dull so I just use it as like a template where I need to cut so that my corners are like similar if that makes any sense instead of just me trying to eyeball it and use it as like just with scissors using this decal or this like gem m from hobby lobby that i got a very very long time ago before i put it down i struggle with it a lot i always struggle with the letter it's crooked but it's fine i'm not even going to fix it using this hole puncher that is also linked in my amazon storefront i do enjoy this one it works pretty good and i now have my back and my front covers next i am moving into my halloween planner and slowly taking things out and moving them over or changing them out this one is going to move into any planner because it's a picture of my kids changing out the october things which is the pumpkins and putting this acetate paper in because it works perfectly fine and i like that i can stick some elements in it 
Next thing I'm going to be doing is working on my dividers. So I have these transparencies. If you are a 90s kid, those are the things that teachers used to use on the projectors where they used to write with a dry erase pen. That's exactly what these are. So I have pre-cut them already to the size of the dividers that I want. Um, I have six of them. So what I'm going to be doing is using these Simply Gilded bows as tabs. I have this Christmas sheet and then I just had to pull one more white one to finish my six tabs. What I'm doing is doing two sets of three. So what I first do is I grab one bow and I put that at the top of the transparency and leaving the bow portion sticking out because that's where I'll be able to grab each divider. Then I grab my next one and I put a, another bow at the bottom of the transparency if that makes any sense. Then I line those two up, I line up the third one and then I place my third bow right in the middle of that so I can center it as evenly as possible. I don't do like six tabs down, I do two sets of three so I'll have one set like this which will be set up like that and then I do another set of three so again grabbing the bow putting that at the top of the transparency grabbing the last bow putting that at the bottom and then lining everything up and putting the middle bow down in between both of them so it's spaced as evenly as I possibly can space them out I really like it this way I don't like I said I don't need my bows to go from top to bottom this way works perfectly fine for me and it's just a little bit easier to space them out a little bit easier here anyway. Moving in, now that I have the dividers down, I am grabbing another lamination sheet. Each lamination sheet will hold two of these dividers for A6 rings, and I'm sure any smaller planner, I don't, I'm sure a personal can go, um, you can make two of them also. But anyways, going back in with glitter, because I love glitter, I want everything to sparkle, especially for the holidays, so I am spreading that out over the two transparencies, and then I'm going to use my finger and just spread it out as evenly as possible. Like I said, I had such a hard time with this glitter. I also try to knock it off of the bow so that the bows can shine through but sometimes they will like move on to it with all of the static putting as much glitter as I possibly can closing that off and then using my chipboard once again to run that through my foiler I'm only going to be showing you the first two dividers all the rest I will be doing off camera because it's the exact same thing I did turn off my light while I was spreading out the glitter so you could see and so I could see because the glare was pretty bad. Now with the transparencies, it is just used as a guide. You could definitely just put your bow stickers down in between the lamination sheets, put down some glitter and then trim from there, but I just find this a whole lot easier. There's no guesswork and measuring because I've already measured the transparencies to the size that I need. And then I just go in and trim right around the transparency. I'm pretty sure you can see it on camera, but you can see it right through the lamination sheet. It shows you right where you need to cut and it just makes things so much easier and I just love doing it this way. I find that it's a lot easier to just hand trim the um, dividers out of it instead of using a paper cutter because then you can just be more accurate. Using the corner rounder once again just as a template where to corner round it instead of eyeballing it so it's a little bit more even. And then I am hole punching them, of course. And that is the dividers. I'm going, I do the rest off camera just to speed up the video and you kind of get the idea. I also do two of the dividers in my Halloween setup. So now that I have all of my dividers, I have my tabs. These are tab stickers from the Planner Society. It's a very super old Planner Society kit, but I'm just looking through everything because I know I don't have the tab stickers that I need or want, but I do make it work. So the very first one is going to be my calendars, my pre-planning calendars. And so I just use the schedule sticker for it because I don't have any more calendar stickers, which I really never look at the tabs anyway. I know how everything is set up, so I really don't need the stickers. So the first thing that I'm replacing is that piece of uh, scrapbook paper. I'm changing it to Disney so, or Christmas. So I'm using this balloon one because it has all of the colors and I feel like that would really set the theme for the planner with that being the first page. Using a Target dollar spot sticky note and I do slice the end because these stickers are a little bit larger but I do want to keep them in here so that works perfectly and it falls right before the holes also so that works very nicely putting that one in. The next sheet that I have is this transparency with some rhinestones. Don't have anything to replace that at the moment um, so or something like it. So I'm just using this foiled negative card that I had made and slipping that into my planner in its place. I do still want to buy more Christmas elements or decorations for this planner but I still have some time. It's only October. It's not even Halloween yet. So I still have more time to add things to this planner for a uh, Christmas setup. 
putting in my monthly inserts and then I am looking for a piece of paper to replace the one that I have off to the side there. I chose this red one because I like to disperse the colors as much as possible as I am flipping through my planner. So that red one was just perfect. My next divider is a pre-planning section. I don't have anything like next week, this week, or just anything that says pre-plan. So I do find this next week sticker, which works out pretty good. I mean, it's kind of the theme of the next section. I have this vellum here that I need to replace with a Christmas theme. So I'm using one of these vellums that I just made myself. It's the Magical Mouse Christmas print. I just printed it on vellum and foiled it very horribly. I probably can't tell on camera, but there's a lot of spots missing. There's like stripes missing and it's just for my personal planner. I, I really don't care. There's enough shine for me to be happy with it. So I'm just trimming it down to size, going to hole punch it and then slip that into my planner. Moving on to the next part, I am putting in my inserts. These are my pre-planning inserts. They are from JL Studio on Etsy. I will leave it to link down below. I always get questions on that. Next piece that I have to replace is this piece of scrap of paper. So I am just choosing what I want to use, hole punching it. I do have a target pocket on top of this paper. So I am replacing it and putting on another one. I just like my setup so much. So I figure why change it if it's working out so well. And I'm just changing out like all of the elements. I did hole punch that one crooked. So that's why it's kind of off, but I don't really care. Moving on to the next divider, which is my daily inserts, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's my daily inserts. So I don't have anything like this week or dailies or anything like that. So I just put currently because it's technically currently the part that I'm on in my planner. Moving over that organized chaos vellum because it's it matches. It's fine. Putting in all of my daily inserts. I keep a month's inserts in here at a time and then I switch it out when the next month comes. So my planner doesn't get too thick. The next section that I have in my planner is my finance section. I know I have a finance sticker, so I'm just going to be using that on the next divider. I think that's cute because bow is red and bills are red and the bill color is red and yeah. Putting back in my Hakuna Matata, everything will little be, every little thing will be all right little thing that I wrote in and choosing a red scrap of paper to put in that section because bills. Bill insert and then this transparency with this Mickey heartbeat. And the next section is my holiday section. So I do have another holiday sticker. Currently it is my vacation planning section. As you can see here, I do need to replace this piece of like foiled paper. So I do choose something else to put in there and I just chose a Christmas one. Same exact one, just Christmas themed. This one is white with green foiling. I just kept a lot of the oopsies for myself. I do trim that down just a little bit because it was a little too big. So like I mentioned, this side, this section currently has my vacation planning inserts in there, but I am switching that to my Disney planner that I'm going to be using. And instead I'm going to be using this section for a holiday planning section. So I don't have holiday inserts and I really don't need holiday inserts because I don't plan it too much for the holidays. Like I don't have any parties or anything like that. So I am using these inserts from Annie Plan Printables. It is the washi inserts that I use sometimes for my daily inserts also. And I am just running some of my Magical Mouse Christmas washi themed washi tape across at the top. I'm not being very pretty with it. I'm just ripping them just to cover the top and to Christmas fi, Christmas fi all of these inserts. And I only have five inserts. I really don't, like I said, plan too much during the holidays, but I thought this would be cute for like the kids Christmas wish list or things that we need to buy, any home decor ideas or anything to do with the holidays and Christmas. So really you don't need holiday inserts for your planner. I mean, if you want them, cool, but I feel like you can just kind of use what you already have have and turn them into holiday inserts. So I just finished choking on air. So if my voice sounds funny, I, I literally choked on air. Anyways, moving on to my next uh, divider. Uh, what section is this? I believe this is my very last section. I knew I had a note sticker, but for some reason it took me forever to find it. Found the note section. This is just kind of a mishmash of different inserts. So I have some list inserts. I have some notes inserts, and then also my passwords insert that just go into the back in case I just need something to jot things down. And then I'm going with the page lifter at the end. Oh my gosh, my voice. Last thing that I'm going to be doing is just kind of um, bringing out the rest of the goodies that I have to do a final flip through and just add in things here and there. So I do want to put some Christmas elements in this pocket here. I 
kind of mess around with it just a little bit the most magical time of the year the reason that i went with this theme is because we go to disneyland during the holidays so christmas disney it just all matches this once more with love like munchkin die cut vinyl thing is just perfect for that area because like three munchkins three kids um so i just put that there with the mini girl from her name is savvy that stayed in there just because i don't know mommy and her babies kind of thing Moving over to my monthly section, I need a bookmark. I really like a bookmark in this section so I can find this section a whole lot easier. So here I am just going through all of my goodies that I have off to the side trying to figure out what I want to make a bookmark, bookmark out of. Oh my gosh, my like throat hurts from choking on air. I decided to go back into the kit that I had originally purchased because it did come with like cardstock stickers. So I grab another transparency and then I measure out my old bookmark because I do like the height of it. And I trim down my transparency to size so I can keep it consistent and so I don't like put stickers over the top or just make it the size that I want it to be remeasuring it so I put this down the stickers the correct way starting off with this happy holiday sticker right at the top and I am sticking it above the transparency slightly so that it will stick out just a little bit more using this half mickey head at the bottom just to bring in some Disney like I said we go to Disneyland during the holidays so every time I just associate Christmas time and Disney because we've been going for I think this is the ninth year in a row so yeah just putting down some more elements I use the wreath and I want to take up that spot so I put down this little snowflake that was on the thing I'm using the glitter edgers from the planner society I had wish I had did this after I like the texture or different textures in my planner so me putting this down on the transparency first and then throwing it through the laminator I lose the texture so I really wish I had put that on after I will be adding more glitter edgers I don't in this video but I will find places to add more glitter edgers because I just like I said I like the texture so I put that on another piece of chipboard and then run that through the laminator and I need to pause this voice over Seriously, my throat is still recovering from joking on air. Anyways, going with some scissors and I am just trimming around all of the stickers that I put down and then trimming around this glitter edger so it has like, not texture, but like, it looks like a die cut bookmark. I'm not the happiest with the way that this bookmark came out, but it'll definitely work. Um, yeah, I wish I might replace it, but for now it'll definitely work. Actually, I probably won't replace it because lazy. Anyways, just finishing trimming out around the stickers and then I did leave a piece on the left hand side so I could hole punch it without ruining the stickers and I was pretty happy that I left enough room so it wouldn't ruin the stickers. Slicing where the holes are so I can rip this out easier when I am changing it out. So just like so. And then I put it on October. I was like, oh, let me just put it on December because it looks cuter where it matches flipping through and literally just trying to figure out if I like how it looks as I'm flipping through. Sometimes I will literally just flip through my planner just to look at everything. Um, I decide to put that castle behind the divider so it doesn't blur, like it doesn't mesh with the other transparency that was behind it or the foil that it was behind. Anyways, moving on, I always like to clip something right here because I always leave that insert in there so it's like a beginning to my pre-planning so that one never gets written on. So I just like to always um, put something there. Moving on, I use this bow vinyl on top of this pocket and then regret it after when I try to decorate the pocket because now you can't see anything behind it and I might rip up the vinyl because I want to decorate this pocket but you can't see anything with the bow there so I just stick this uh, sparkly paper co die cut back in and then some Disney thing and leave it at that because I can't put anything else behind there turning through the pages and just bringing in more paper because like I said I like to just flip through and see different colors and different elements so I used the blue one because I felt like there wasn't much blue going on putting this Merry Christmas um, paper in there towards my uh, Christmas planning section because I felt like that made sense. I do start uh, moving things around so it makes a little bit more sense. I have this dashboard which was a TN dashboard that I cut so it's kind of awkward because I cut it and then I hole punched it. I do have dashboards which I could have used but it still works so I just left it as is. Moving to my holiday inserts, I am using more of the stickers just to use up more of the elements that came in the kit so I can actually use them and not just have them on the side and be done with it. So I'm just picking random stickers to put on each one of the pages to make it more Christmassy and 
yeah like i said just to use up the stickers so i'm just picking one little um, sticker for each page and decorating the corners so it's out of the way so when i do go to write i have a majority of the paper moving in i am using another piece of vellum i like different papers in my planner so i'm just using this red one here all of my patterns are all the same like i mentioned i didn't really have time to go out and look for different elements for my planner i not on a time crunch but i did want to get up this video as soon as possible but with a6 rings i feel like you're just never finished setting things up so I would just left that the way it is and then to put some little Christmas thing on the back or something like that I use this sticker from the kit and just put that in the back corner to kind of finish off that. I am going through once again as not a final flip through but just to add more elements into my Christmas planner to make it more Christmassy. I change out this Cheshire Cat one for my Christmas version from Her Name is Savvy. That's a little selfie that she had. I don't know if she does them anymore. I forgot about this acetate so I grab this one, trim it to size so I can put it into my planner. I am hole punching this one. I do believe I corner around this one and I just cut it this time because that one is super sharp and thick and it hurts if you get stabbed. That is that and just flipping through and making sure that just not too much foil is butting up next to each other, not too much of the same color is butting up next to each other. So like right here, I am switching things around I think because I wanted this Christmas one behind the glittery dashboard so you could see it better and I just make sure that you like glitter and glitter doesn't butt up next to each other because then you can't really see it. Moving into this dashboard here, I do take it out and then the pink side, the back side of the holographic dots was pink and I just wanted it to match more so I just grabbed another piece of the scrapbook paper that came in the kit, trimmed it down to fit and then put that, slip that behind so that it covers just the pink dots of it and there's more Disney Christmas elements in my planner and I really do like how that turned out. This is seriously a mix, mixed metal themed with the gold, silver, and hollow, but it's still like Christmas is just sparkly and fun to me. Putting in my little charm, I do want to make another one, so yeah, it's a little bit more decorated, and I'm pretty sure that completes the setup as of right now. I do want to find more elements like I've mentioned, um, so I will be doing that sooner or later when I have time, but this is the initial setup for now, just stuffing the pockets with the stuff that I had in my other planner, and now we are going to jump into, or back into live video. Okay, so I have finished, well, finished so far. I didn't really get a chance to browse for like more Christmas decor for my planner, so it is what it is right now. I always feel like with a ring planner, you're never fully finished setting it up because there's always stuff you can add to it. So this is pretty much just the initial setup and then I'll probably end up finding more things to put in it as I normally do to kind of fill it up. But as of right now, it is good where it's at. So let's do a final flip through walkthrough of my Christmas planner. So I just put some of the elements back in from my other planner um, that was in the front and I just put that back into my planner. As you can see, my like little front dashboard and this M was like huge when I was putting it down. I was like, wow, that's really big. I did keep this the same because it's a planner and I just feel like it just matches and this just matches anything. Here is this. I kept this the same. I feel like I want to put more of these little um, transparencies in to put more decorations in, but for now, it's, it's good where it's at. Got my first divider with this very colorful balloon um, scrapbook paper changed out all of that I probably could have made this a little bit smaller it does stick out just a little bit more than I had wanted but it works for what it is right now as you saw I put this one in here to kind of separate 2019 to 2020 I will be putting in my like full monthly inserts probably maybe mid no I think I'm just gonna start them at the beginning of the year so for now these will do this is where I've just been jotting down things that's happening in like next year that I know of so far of course my next divider and I love this paper right here because it has a castle and fireworks and it looks like Christmas 
right here I just have my pre-planning inserts I just clip this here for now I always use I would like to keep something right here clipped to just to kind of like block off this area and keep that kind of cute. And then I just have the rest of the year's pre-planning inserts. I couldn't figure out what to do with this one. After I put the bow down, then there's just like, you can't see anything inside of here. So I'll probably just use these for, use this one for stickers or something like that. We'll figure it out. Um, next divider, I kept this organized chaos acetate in here because I didn't have very much acetate to work with so I like the different types of paper in my planner. This I actually meant to put in the beginning but I kind of I don't want to take out the inserts because they're so hard to put back in now that the planner is pretty full. So of course my daily inserts all Halloween themed because it's still October. Some more inserts ready for the next coming weeks. I put this one did I put this one in after? I don't know but more blue. I was trying to even out the colors throughout when I'm flipping through so I can kind of see everything. I have my finance section and then I just clipped this wreath paper clip to the actual month that I'm on. I moved this around just a little bit so it makes a little bit more sense when I am flipping through my planner. So like I said, this is the... Oh, I'll probably move this around. Mm, we'll see what I do. But anyways, this is just holiday planning, just super simple. I, that way I can use these inserts for whatever I want or need it to be. I really need to do I swatches of the rest of the Magical Mouse washi so I can add them in here. I don't know, I just like that in there. And then none of this changed. I kept this all the same. I might change it later. Like I said, I really don't have all of like the holiday or Christmas themed goodies that I would want in here. but. For an initial setup, I am happy with it. And then just my passwords insert, which I always keep clipped anyway, just because I only need it when I need it, so it can just stay closed. I use the same page lifter, and this is all stuck in here, so I just left it as is. And then the final page, and I don't have anything decorated back here yet. For this, I'll probably put all of my like character Christmas stickers because that's what I have in my current setup right now um, so I'll probably put that in there after but that is it as of right now I'll probably find more things to put in here as time goes on especially because we're still only in October and there's still plenty of time until Christmas but yeah that is it for now I hope you guys enjoy this setup I hope it gave you some ideas on how to decorate your planner whether it be an a6 rings or a TN can't really do much with a spiral bound but yeah I'm just loving it and Christmas is my favorite time I really wanted to get super creative with my planner this year and just grab like a whole bunch of random papers but I knew I was on a time crunch as far as when I wanted to decorate for Christmas so that pack really came in handy to make a more like cohesive theme I guess because everything's pretty much the same but yeah that is it for this planner setup i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you always for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys now i switch everything back to my halloween planner because it is only october 22nd and not sending this up